Welcome to Seven Trumpets Prepper, and in this video, I want to talk to you about something that is deep on my heart, and that is corrupt politicians and preachers are our worst enemy. Now, I've talked about you know not trusting your minister with your preps or your salvation before, but I want you to give me a few moments of your time, and I think this is going to be very enlightening because our biggest enemies as preppers is politicians and the preacher man. And I'll break these down. I want to start with the politician first because I've hammered the preacher man in the past. Um, if you look on Bloomberg or you look on Fox News, I'll put the links in the bottom video description because I made sure to look over these the other day. We can already see that our government, and I say government, I mean corrupt politicians, okay? it take, I, I'm not against the government. I'm against corruption either politically, religious, in society. I want to make sure that's plain and clear. Um, when it comes to our politicians, though, this Internet Cyber Security Bill, now let me explain to you real quick what that's going to end up being, is that's going to be a censorship of, well, I don't like what Luke's saying on Seven Trumpets Prepper, deleted, and then you come to YouTube looking for us, and you don't find us no more. That's what that's going to end up being. It, it might be that the Chinese are trying to hack our uh, Internet and all these other things to steal American secrets. That might be a legitimate problem, but the thing is, is it's just a footstep into encroaching more on our freedom. I mean, for crying out loud, folks, we got drones flying in our American skies now, RFID chips. On March 23rd, when I'm giving that bug out bag away that I just talked about here recently, uh, of 2013, when I hand that out, that's the day that the health care bill is finally official, okay? March 23rd, 2013. It's not just an arbitrary day, okay? So hopefully we can get that bug out bag to somebody before hard times hits. But the thing is, is we got politicians with, you know, here I said the cybersecurity, the drones in the skies, RFID chips. We are living in a prison grid. And I've already, I'm already getting nervous about the fact that uh, I, I, there's this little whim in the air about, uh, you know, preppers' food confiscations. Now, look, the pol politicians are already trying to take our firearms. I want this loud and clear. Do not comply. I hate firearms because they're only for one thing, and that's killing people. And in the new kingdom, there won't be no more death, so I'm looking forward to it. In the meantime, you're going to need this thing. All right? The politicians want this bad. Do not give it up because the moment you give it up, everything's lost, okay? You can forget about your freedom. You can forget about your safety. It's over with, okay? And it's like Dr. David Manning said. He said, uh, uh, I'll try to get a link to the video and put it in the description. He said, uh, don't sell your guns. Or don't let anything happen to them. Uh, you know, don't give them back up to the government. He said that uh, what you do is you go sell your garment by a Glock. And that's exactly what you need to do. You know, Messiah told his disciples to go get a sword, uh, you know, to protect themselves there right before he was crucified. We need to protect ourselves. Not only that, we're not to leave other people uh, uh, defenseless whenever a, a problem could happen that could harm another person's life. We're supposed to help one another. Loving one another means protecting one another, too, from evil. And whenever they come to take your guns at 2 or 3 in the morning, like Dr. David Manning said, they need to be woke. You need to wake up and give them a hail spray of bullets for them trying to take your things away because in the Scripture it is written that if a thief is caught, and he's killed, there's no blood on your hands. And I'll put the scripture right there and link to it because I don't have it in front of me at the moment. But the point is, our politicians are totally against preppers. All right, there's a few good ones out there, but for the most part, they want to take your things from you, okay? Now, I've been talking about um, cacheing, and I want to show this to you real quick, just a simple uh, little project I've got going here. I've been mylar bagging. If you've seen that video I've done on the mylar, I've been working on getting these uh, bags of food together and putting them in. And then, of course, putting a uh, D 
desiccant pack down in there to get the moisture out and then put it in a plastic tub. And now I'm going to take and trash bag this and uh, I'll show you that in a cache video that we're going to go ahead and do here in the, just coming up. But you need to start making sure your firearms and your food is secure. I mean, don't even risk it anymore. I'm going to distribute mine. Like, you see this right here? I'm about to make this go gone, you know, wherever you can get it to. Because things are going to get really nasty in this country soon. And I have a feeling that preppers are going to be the number one target that the government goes after. Not because we want to take over the world. Hey, I don't even care about taking over the governments of the world or this government or being against it because when Messiah comes, all you jokers out there that think you're running the show, you got, I got news for you, you're about to lose your power fast. And some of you are going to be put to the sword when he comes. So anyway, moving to Preacher Man. Ladies and gentlemen, Yens, uh, a lot of you have asked me, Luke, what's your beliefs? Or, you know, Luke, what, what do you uh, think about this and about? Ladies and gentlemen, whatever is written in the scripture is all I care about. I don't care about people's opinions. If it says, thus saith Yahweh, that's all that matters. I mean, that's all that matters. I don't care what my mama said. I don't care what my sister said. My wife, son, cousin, nephews, uncles, brothers, uh, son. I don't care. When it comes to the scripture anymore, 99% of your preacher men are idiots. If you are going to church right now, giving your tithe money in the offering plate, you're wasting your time. You're wasting your resources. All right, this right here, this food in front of me, I put my tithe money into that. When hard times come, I'm going to feed my neighbor, and I'm going to take care of them. And I'm going to take that money also, and like I'm doing right now, trying to help produce this channel, give it to Hallelujah Scriptures, do whatever I can. That's where your tithe money needs to go. Now, where your worship needs to go is you need to find like-minded people and worship together, whether it's at home, or maybe at a, 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 a meeting place. But the church house has become Babylon, okay? I, I hate to say it, but it has. Their doctrinal beliefs, all right, Trinity doctrine, all right, uh, that, that's one of the major things that's taught in most denominational Christianity, even in the Great War Babylon Roman Catholic Church. This scripture plainly says in Deuteronomy uh, chapter 6, that hear, O Israel, Elohim is one, okay? Not multiple, but just one. Not only that, Messiah, when he was resurrected, said, Don't touch me. You know, I'm not ascended yet to my father and your father. My Elohim and your Elohim. So if you're at the other end of this finger, that's the same master, okay, that Messiah said he's going back to. So that's enough. I mean, that's two witnesses right there. We don't even need to have to play these mind games. Ministers are idiots. All right, most of them, I mean, the good majority of them are idiots. And they're going to go right along with this, uh, this beast power that's about to come forth. I want you to check out Loud Cry Ministries and the two videos I've been uh, having a hand in working at over there at the ministry. Check those two links. It's about the signs in the heavens and about the coming man of sin. That right there breaks down a lot of information about what's about to come to, to pass. But these people, politicians and preacher men, you've got to separate your company from. They are the biggest part of Babylon, okay? Uh, we've got to get together with one another and help one another out. You need to reach out to your neighbor to your family, your friends, and start coming together and start prepping. Start cacheting, start hiding these things, start getting it dispersed, because it's about to hit the fan. And I mean, it's going to get nasty. And, it, and I'm really worried that it's going to happen before the trumpets. I thought that, um, you know, I thought that Pope Benedict, being he's the seventh from the, the you know, before the final uh, pontiff over the Roman Catholic Church, I figured that, you know, the man of sin wouldn't show up until at least after... Uh, you know, 2014, 15, if the trumpets did sound after those signs in the heavens, if that's the ones in Matthew 24 spoken of, I, I thought we had a couple more years, but I I'm really beginning to get concerned that we don't anymore. And you need to get your prep on and you need to get it going now because the government's gearing up. Preacher men's idiots and they're just going to keep on taking your money telling you everything's fine and the trumpets are going to slap you right in the face and you ain't going to be ready. And... Not to mention all the other things that's going to happen, that the hand of the Most High is about to take place on this earth. He's going to start working his wonders. So we need to be getting ready. And uh, I've, I've, just, I've had this on my heart and I want to sit down. And I'm going to do a video for those people also that's been asking about what I believe. I'm just going to sit down the video uh, to stop all those questions. And I'm going to go over it with you, what I, what I believe and why. And I'm going to do it right out of the scripture and point it to you so you can think for yourself and, and do uh, what's right by Scripture and not have to ask somebody. It's right there in front of us. But the main point of this video is don't trust either one of these people anymore. Just cut them off, okay? 
that you, you, the only people you've got to depend on is you, the people around you that's your family and friends, and the Most High. Because our government is not for us no more, and our preacher men are not for us no more. So until we see you here again at Seven Trumpets Prepper Channel, I know this is a totally different video, but it's time to call it like it is. And I've been quiet on a lot of stuff. The Sandy Hook, uh, you know, the, the cyber security thing, because that's going to affect us, the ministry. I've been quiet about a lot of this stuff, but I, I mean, the cat's out of the bag. you got to get ready and you get geared up right now. And drop off the grid if you can. I think that's the best thing anybody could do. Unfortunately, sadly, I can't do that. But if you have the ability to do that, I think that's a top-notch thing to do right now. And be getting those that you can around you ready for what's about to take place. So until we see you again here at Seven Trumpets Prepper Channel, have a most blessed day in Yahushua name.